Okay, I just came across some crown tip coral growing on wood, which means it is good to eat. Sometimes I will eat them if it grows on wood. I may pick this one and, and try her out. But anyway, I'm just getting started good. I'm going to see what else is down through here. I'm a little further down in the woods than I normally go, so ain't no telling what I'll come across. Let's see what we got. Okay, just came across this mushroom here. This is a bolete. It's pretty big. Big as big as my hand or bigger. But this right here is a bitter bolete. It is very, very bitter. You cannot eat this mushroom. It's not poisonous. But it is so bitter that you cannot eat it. On this mushroom here, when you scratch it, it'll stain brown. Eventually it will stain brown. <laughs> you cannot eat this mushroom. It's not poisonous. It's a pretty mushroom, but it is too bitter to eat. Okay, pretty neat find though. I'm just gonna leave it right there and continue on. See what else is growing out here. Okay, I found some more bitter boletes. This thing is huge. A shame they ain't no good to eat but you can see how big that is it is a giant but I'm not gonna pick it I'm just gonna leave it and there's another one over here that is actually sometimes these things will get a, a mold on them a fungus a fungus on a fungus I call it this one is already starting to get it see that white color in the back right there and stuff it'll get a fungus on it you can see underneath how it's attacking it that's just part of being a bolete I guess a lot of boletes get that I see I see it often but anyway it's another bitter bolete wasn't worth having but all right I'm gonna move on there's a lot of these boletes up today I, we had a pretty good rain and it's a little cool temperatures I guess that's what's got them up all right move on to the next one well I'm coming across more and more boletes these are the bitter boletes they're up everywhere there's another one up here that one's being attacked by fungus also and there's another one right over here There's another one. And I'm sure they're all up and down through here because they're up everywhere. But just can't eat them. I'll find some that we can. Alright, moving on. Well, just found some small oysters here. Growing on the side of the tree. I'm not going to harvest any oysters. I'm not, uh, I don't eat that many of them. I eat them during the winter. But there's a bunch of other mushrooms on here. Look like they're all small oysters. There's a bunch of them. All up underneath there. Okay, I've been coming across a lot of boletes here past 25 yards or so. And I just wanted to show this one that I just found. This thing is big. That is a big bolete right there. I'm not sure how old it is. too old to eat 
but it is big, ain't it? It is big. I'm gonna leave it because it's just too old. There's another one right up here, it looks too old too. Another one right there. I'm not gonna mess with it because it's too old too. But I've been coming across a bunch of them. I got a few in the bag. I'm gonna see if there's any more up through here that are fresher. Then I may go home. I think I'm about done. There's some pines up there. I'm gonna go look for some slippery jack and then head on to the house. Alright, moving on. Came across this mushroom here. I believe this is an indigo milky. I don't know any other mushroom that is blue. That is a neat little mushroom out there. It is almost blue. That's pretty neat. Anyway, interesting find right there. Moving on. Okay, I made it up to the pines. And I found a few mushrooms. Right there. Right there. And there's one hiding under these pine needles right here. That's a, a pine bowl eat or slippery jack or slippery jill. These, uh, there's a couple different species of these. Some of these have a dark top. When it gets cooler, there'll be some that have a dark top. This is the light colored one. They're all taste about the same. This top is real slimy and sticky. You just have to either peel it or wash it off real good. That's pretty good mushroom to eat right there. And these over here, I think, are birch bowl eats. But they're so small. It's a small mushroom. it up see I'll walk down through there and see if I can find any more okay I just came across a neat looking polypore I don't guess I've ever seen something like this that is pretty neat I'm gonna have to look that up because I don't know what it is but it is neat looking coming out of the ground like a regular mushroom instead of growing on the side of a tree but that is really neat looking find out what that is but that is really cool well I was just coming down this access road right here and came across dead center of the road a bullet fresh one too and right over here is another one. And as I look over here, one right there, there's one right there, one right there. That one's kind of old, but there it is. And another one right there. That's an old one too. All right, just got done doing some mushroom hunting. It's July 27th. It's uh, 
it's getting a little warm out, so I think I'm about done mushroom hunting. But anyway, uh, what I found was, of course, some chanterelles. These are smooth chanterelles. I found about 25 of these. It wasn't a whole bunch of them today, but I've been finding a bunch of them, so. I found some two colored bolites. The two colored bolete is a choice edible. It is a really good mushroom. I found a few of these. That's a bonus. I found some slippery jack or pine bolete, slippery jack, slippery gill, whatever. That's a bonus. I like these. I found some pretty good sized uh, bolete's here. Several, several, several of these. I guarantee you there was probably 75 to 100 of these in the woods today. I didn't pick that many because I'm not going to eat that many, but good find there too. There was plenty of these. These mushrooms here if you ever do any mushroom hunting, this is a red-mouthed bolete. This is a poisonous mushroom. You do not eat this one. To tell it, it'll be kind of red underneath. When you scratch it, it'll turn almost black. It'll turn black. This mushroom you do not want to eat. It's one of the few bolites that you cannot eat. I've seen several bitter bolites, probably 75 to 100 of those. They're not poisonous, but they're too bitter to eat. I can't eat them. Well, during the summer, you can still find mushrooms, so get out and look for them. After a good rain, we've had a couple rains, so I thought it'd be a good day. So, get a chance to get out and find some. Fall mushrooms will be coming up pretty quick. That'll be the real time to go find the really good mushrooms. Well, I'm going to the house. 